Hello my dear friends, welcome back to Infigyan. In this video, we have one very very interesting question from radical equations. 6th root of x over 5 minus square root x equal to cube root of 36 and we are going to calculate only real solutions. So let's get started by writing our denominator cannot be 0. So square root x cannot be 5. So x cannot be 25. Now I will switch the values. So I will write 6th root of x over cube root 36 equal to 5 minus square root x. Now we will consider cubing both sides as we have 6th root and cube root in LHS. So we will consider cubing both sides. Now I will split numerator and denominator with power. I can write 6th root of x whole cube in the numerator over cube root of 36 whole cube in the denominator equal to 5 minus square root x whole cube. Now this cube root and cube will be over from denominator and in numerator 6th root of x whole cube will be x power 1 over 6 whole cube using exponent law we can multiply both the powers so this will give us x power half which is square root x. So numerator I can write is square root x. Denominator is 36 only. Right hand side is 5 minus square root x whole cube. Let me write this equation here. A square root x over 36 equal to 5 minus square root x whole cube. Now we will consider our substitution. Let's say 5 minus square root x equal to m. So I can calculate square root x. This will be equal to 5 minus m. If x cannot be equal to 25, then m cannot be equal to 0. So our equation will become square root x over 36. So I will write 5 minus m over 36. Our LHS and RHS we will write m cube. Now m cannot be equal to 0. So I can write 5 minus m over m cube equal to 36. Or I can write 5 over m cube minus m over m cube equal to 36. Remember our substitution is 5 minus root x equal to m. Let me write this equation here. 5 over m cube minus m over m cube. So I can write minus 1 over m square equal to 36 or we can write 5 times 1 over m whole cube minus 1 over m whole square equal to 36. Now we will consider 1 over m. Let's say this is equal to n. So our equation will become 5n cube minus n square equal to 36 or I can write 5n cube minus n square minus 36 equal to 0. Now if I will plug in n equal to 1, will it satisfy 5 minus 1 minus 36? No, it won't. If I will put n equal to 2, then 5 times 8, 40 minus 2 square is 4. 
minus 36. Yes, this is giving us RHS 0. So, n equal to 2 is one root of this cubic equation. Now, I can split this minus n square easily. Let me write here 5n cubed minus n square minus 36 equal to 0. Now, I will split our middle term minus n square as 5n cube minus 10n square. As we know, n is equal to 2 is 1 root plus n square with coefficient 9. So, that minus 10 plus 9 is minus 1. Minus 36 equal to 0. Now, from first two terms, I can take 5n square common out. So, in bracket, I will get n minus 2. Now, from last two terms, I can take 9 common out. So, in bracket, n square minus 4, which we can write 2 square equal to 0. Or I can write 5n square times n minus 2 plus 9 times a square minus b square, we can use a plus b times a minus b. So, n plus 2 times n minus 2 equal to 0. Now, n minus 2, n minus 2. We will take common out. So, in other bracket, we will get 5n square plus 9 times n plus 2. So, I can write 9n plus 9 times 2, 18 equal to 0. Now we can use product 0 rule here which will give us either n minus 2 equal to 0 or 5n square plus 9n plus 18 equal to 0. So we have to solve these two equations. So if I will solve first equation then it is very easy. n will become 2. So, our first real solution n equal to 2. Now, we will consider this quadratic equation 5n square plus 9n plus 18 equal to 0. Now, I will check the discriminant value b square minus 4ac as per our equation a is coefficient of n square 5 b is coefficient of n 9, c is constant 18. So, I can write here the discriminant will be b square. So, 9 square minus 4 times 5 times 18. This will give us 81 minus 90 times 4. This will give us 360. So, this difference will come out minus 279 because of discriminant is coming out negative, we will get complex solutions. So, easily we can reject this quadratic equation as it is generating complex solutions. So, n equal to 2, the only real solution, n was our substitution 1 over m. So, I will write in place of n, 1 over m equal to 2. Now, take reciprocal both sides. We will get m equal to 1 over 2 or half. Now, m was our substitution 5 minus root x. So, I will write 5 minus root x equal to half. Or I can write the root x value. This will be equal to 5 minus half, 5 minus half will be 10 minus 1 over 2, so 9 over 2. Let me write here, A square root x equal to 9 over 2. Now, we will consider squaring both sides, we will get our final answer x equal to 81 over 4. Now, we have to verify whether this is satisfying our equation or not. So, let me write here 
check x equal to 81 over 4 or I can write this is 9 over 2 whole square. Equation is here. I will begin with LHS. LHS is 6th root of x over 5 minus square root x. So I can write equal to 6th root of 81 over 4 which we can write 9 over 2 whole square over 5 minus square root x will be 9 over 2. Now I can write here 6th root and square is also there. So this will give us cube root of 9 over 2 over 5 times 2 10 minus 9 1 over 2. This will be equal to 2 times cube root of 9 over cube root of 2. Now we will rationalize denominator. So I need to multiply here with cube root 4 in the denominator. So in the numerator. Now denominator can be written as cube root of 2 times 4. So 8 cube root of 8 is 2 and numerator will be written as cube root of 9 times 4 36. Now this is also 2. So I can write 2 times cube root of 36 over 2. So this 2 and 2 will be over. We will get cube root of 36 which is our RHS. Hence our solution is true and verified. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck.